So slide 26 just recaps what Perl stands for. Okay, so in a Perl paragraph, um, which remember is just a really good way of putting together a paragraph for essay writing. Um, you have a clear point in that paragraph. So that paragraph should all focus on one idea to make that idea clear in your opening sentence. You should include evidence as a quote um, and it shows how Rita is presented. You should explain what the quote means and do some single word analysis, picking out one word and commenting on, on it in more detail. You should also comment on what the audience feel, imagine or think. Remember that although we use reader in Perl, it is audience for this text because it is a play. And then make a link to why Willie Russell might have done this. And try and explain what Willie Russell was trying to explore about 1980s Liverpool at the time. Slide 27, you need to select what character you're going to write your pearl on. So how is Frank presented in this scene or how is Rita presented in this scene? You can choose. You have focused a lot on Rita in previous lessons though, so you might want to focus on Frank this time to challenge yourself. Um, and you're going to write your quotes here, um, what character you're going to focus on and the quotes that you're going to use to write about them. Slide 28, okay, shows you how these questions link to that pearl structure. So look how they're colour coded to link. Uh, and then they also link to this example paragraph, okay? So, as Rita gives Frank back his da-da-da, Rita is presented as being, as being supportive of Frank and his work. The stage, or presented as supporting Frank and his work, that's, that's it. So, we've got clear what is happening and how is Rita presented as our point. The stage direction standing next to him shows that. Um, and you need to fill in the inference there because you need to fill in the explanation there, okay? So to have good analysis, we need a clear inference, what is suggested, and we need an explanation of how you made that inference. Then we move on to what the audience might think, and then the writer, uh, or say Willie Russell. So you have a go at just completing that little paragraph, and then on the slide 29, you're gonna write your own file paragraph using that structure. If you're stuck, go back, use the same sentence starters, use the questions to help prompt you. Okay, um, use the support around you. If you want to really challenge yourself, there is an extension for the other character. Um, and then I am going to actually mark uh, this piece of work for you for next week, okay, or for after half term. Uh, and then final thought there, who would win in a fight, a piece of dialogue or a stage direction and why? Hey guys, I hope you have a great week um, and I will speak to you soon.